So those of you that are wanting to paint on canvas, which is, which is perfectly fine, um, the canvas boards and the stretched canvases that you get at the store typically are pre-gessoed. However, I always find that it's better to put a couple of coats of gesso or artist primer onto the canvas before you start painting. And one of the reasons why I like to do this is because sometimes that texture, the weave of the canvas is very absorbent and it'll suck the paint into the weave of the fabric. So you really don't want to be wasting your paint um, and having to layer, you know, more than you need to. So a couple of coats of gesso I find does the trick. So what is gesso? Gesso basically is a binder, like a glue with crushed chalk and white pigment. And it's a great surface to paint on with acrylics or oils. And the type of gesso I have here is just, um, there's lots of different brands that you can use. This is Artist Loft. I just got it from a local art store. And this one comes a little bit thicker you can get it in more of a liquid, um, and you can get it in a thicker plaster. This is a little thicker, plus it's old, and it's been sitting for a little while, so it's actually thickened up some. So I went ahead and took the liberty to thin that down just a little bit. Okay, so you can see the consistency of that. It's almost like, um, like a glazed icing, but Anyway, so what we have here, I've got a little cup of water in case I need to water that down some more or dip my brush into it to make this go on a little bit smoother. I just have an old chip brush. You can use a trowel if you want to. These are just some different sized trowels. And then I've got just a rag handy and also a sanding sponge. So you can use sandpaper too. So I do like to do two coats of gesso and I allow the coats to dry in between. So sometimes there will be little ridges and things on that first coat. So once that's dry, I'll take the sanding sponge and just knock those ridges down. Doesn't have to be completely 100% smooth, but it just really depends on what you want. You may wanna have a textured surface. So in that case, I would suggest getting a thicker um, type of gesso or a modeling paste or something and you can actually build your texture up if you want to before you start painting. So I like to paint on a smoother surface so I am gonna go ahead let's just pour a little bit of this out onto our board. Okay we don't want to get too much because I do want to work with thin layers so you can either come in with your trowel and you can kind of move that around a little bit first I like to kind of get that to kind of cover all of the board as much as I can before I go in with my brush. So it's a good idea to have a tablecloth or something underneath your surface because it does get a little messy. Just getting that kind of smoothed out. Looks like we've got quite a bit on here. I'm just going to take some of that excess. We'll just scrape away some of the excess and just put that back into the can. Now I'm almost at the bottom of my bucket here, so I'm okay with putting this just so that I've watered down back into my bucket. You really don't want to do that into a new bucket because anytime you're adding water to a substance, once it sits in there for a little while, it's going to start to get kind of icky and moldy. So you got to be careful about that. So mine, I'm already almost empty, so I'm not going to worry about it. So now I'm just going to smooth this out, just moving the brush all different directions, knowing that I can come back in and just sand down these ridges. So it's really going to kind of self-level. So I don't have to worry too much about being real perfect and neat with it. Okay, so once you've got the whole surface covered, you're going to allow that to dry. Probably takes about 20 or 30 minutes, just depending on how thick you have put your gesso on. And once it's dry, you'll just come back in with your sanding sponge. 
So this one's an 80 grit. You can do probably an 80, between 80 and 120 grit. You can use regular sandpaper. A lot of times I like to use these sanding sponges because you can get them wet, bring out all the water, and then instead of having a lot of that dust infiltrating the air, you can just sand it down and it kind of gets absorbed into the sponge and then you can rinse out your sponge. So once you have your two coats of gesso on and they're dried, sanded, you're ready to paint. Thank you.